so hello guys so last session we saw like how to install the redis shawl so today we're going to create a helper for uh, making the connection to the redis sketchy let's go and create one more class called the redis connection helper now we call it as redis connection okay so let's make this public so now we're going to do first initialize the connection here so that is our first goal this connection will be used for both read and write operation okay cool First, let's uh, declare on a private uh, variable. Lazy. Okay. Lazy. So just uh, include the stock range is reddish. No, this is lazy connection multiplexer. Lazy, what it will do is it will be works like synchronous. Okay. So let's keep this. Then uh, create a constructor public. So we have to now uh, assign the lazy connection initialize with our Redis uh, uh, connection multiplexer and uh, to connect the Redis. So that is our logic. So let's go and write uh, that. Okay. So what I'm doing is just assigning the lazy connection multiplexer equal to the new connection multiplexer and connect the localhost. So that is what we are saying here. Okay. Then one more uh, variable we are declaring, which is to connect. So whenever the connection variable we required, uh, we need to connect it uh, to our connection manager. So like uh, public dot static connection multiplayer we call it as connection okay so this it will uh, return us uh, this will be a property where it returns the value of the connection get see value okay cool so so far what i did is 
so i created one helper where i declare the connection multiplexer so connection multiplexer i am assigning the uh, connection variable of redis uh, connection multiplexer where connect object uh, will be assigned to here so then there is one more uh, property uh, to get the value of the current connections so that is a helper will do okay so this is cool now so next step is we are going to do a save, save and the write the, read the data so that is the next level which we are going to achieve for that uh, we need to initialize the cache in our program file okay so that is the things so let's go and do that Equal to the redis connection dot connection dot get the database. Okay. So what this will do is this will uh, uh, try to get uh, get our current uh, data uh, connection connected database. Okay. So then uh, next step is like uh, we need to uh, do uh, read and the write operation. So let's go and uh, create a two method. Okay, public what? Write data. So what 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 uh, we will do is like uh, first uh, we do uh, 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 write the data to our cache wrapper then we uh, try okay so here instead of uh, having a global so let's uh, go and uh, put it uh, here for timing we can write it how we can write it it's very simple uh, like dot okay string So here uh, the options uh, you will get it one is a uh, uh, string set and the string get so I, I going to use here string set and the key name so key name uh, is uh, like uh, order media okay and the value will be to, to area so we'll just hard code this for now okay Public. Next method I will go into create it. Just remove this and to get data. So here string dot get the value key. Okay. So this is what uh, we're going to do. So this is what we'll do now. We'll we'll just assign it into the uh, value variable and uh, this value will write it in the console. Okay, got right line. And, okay, cool. So now what we'll do? Uh, we we'll just uh, do the two operations. Okay, so let's go and create the objects here. Yeah, program equal to new program. Now first we do write data. Okay, write operation success. Once write operation success, you say data write it successfully. Okay. Data. 
successful. Good. So then, after writing immediately, we try to get the data by using this. Okay. And then finally, console dot. Okay, cool. So now our method is ready, everything. So it looks fine, right? So let's uh, go and uh, run our projects. Uh, just do uh, by just run the application. Okay. Okay, I'm getting an exception. Okay. Okay, I, I got it like what is the issue because uh, uh, our um, we are running the port number six three seven nine. I guess yeah. Let's try now again. One second. There is uh, something uh, we must add. Let's check what is the things. Mm -hmm. Okay, cool. So this is a static constructor, right? As uh, we are calling as a static method. Okay, cool. So now it's sitting. Now we are supposed to get the value. Oops. Uh, okay, what happened? Cool. Uh, data is routed successfully and we got the tutorial. Okay, so now uh, the project is running successfully. So there is a no error. Uh, so let's uh, see like in the next video, like so how this console is getting righted and uh, what are the other perform uh, forms need to be do so please stay tuned uh, for the next video we'll uh, continue this in the next session so hopefully we we, we will be getting the data right and uh, read and write uh, logic success okay